It's time for a special multitasking edition of the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Dream. And let me explain what I mean by that multitasking. How am I multitasking? Well, I'm not really, uh, but I am in a way. Uh, so I just was doing some filming for this down here. Um, this is a forum game that I'm going to be that I'm in the midst of uh, for Origins: How We Became Human, run by Pablo, and um, I'm waiting to see what card I'm going to draw. For that, so I'm also filming a series about that. Um, while I'm waiting for the card, however, it's a great time to be uh, playing playing some more Zanziar. So just if I seem a little more distracted than usual, I think I probably maybe some people feel I always seem a little distracted than usual, but um, it's because I'm kind of flipping back between two different video projects that are that are going on. Usually, I just do one video project, get it all onto the computer send it to youtube.com and I'm done with it. But here I'm kind of in the middle of one video, the Origins one, um, and then also starting this video. So if the response comes in because people are waiting for me, I might have to switch back to that game and then come back again to here. Uh, but let's think about here because this is the Zanziar video now. So last time we ended with um, Chopper's turn. It was about to be Chopper's turn. I was rather tired and there was something going on in my mind between the dragon warrior Derek and the ghost of Torbard. There's echoes here between Chopper's uh, Chopper's people and the dragon queen Lot who is down there um, and the last game Betrayal at the House on the Hill. So there's something forming here. The fact that he drew this dragon warrior after he his ghost um, just slayed the dragon. And the fact that there's a ghost over there, um, there's, there's something taking shape. However, I don't think it's ready to reveal itself yet, uh, even to me. Pot forgot to leave anyone behind in Nagia, so Nagia has, has slipped out of Sweet Pea's control. Um, and she's gonna send Honey Pot right back down there to try and retake it again. So here, let's see what we got. Unit from Gory. And it was an easy matter to re- retake it. I don't know if that even really did anything, um, but it maybe made her go on a little bit of a detour there. Grisbergberg has just gone down to Tragi, which is the capital of Rome, um, and was also where, where Snugbug started the game. Lost control of it though, and she got the fifth legion of Gory, which I think is the most rare of all the legions. I don't see the fifth legion as much to join her side. Snugbug sweet um, Viatus of Nixon Lake is moving again, has to draw a card, nothing happens, um, and he goes down here to this field in the south where nothing happens. Ghost of Torvard has re-entered Rog. There he's found the Baron Gunther of Argo, uh, flanked by the Third Legion of Gori and a squad of Dwarven warriors. He is going to try and, uh, he really would like the Baron on his side. Now if we look at his con score, he's got, oops, I dropped a city, three, five to his one. So that's a, that's a deficit for, um, for him. Uh, but he would really like that extra action, so he's going to go ahead and try the roll. So, Baron Ark Gunther, um, Gunther gets a 6, and he gets an... Ooh, that's not good. That's a, what do you have, 5, so that's 8. 8 minus 6 is 2. I don't think anything bad happens to him. No, just nothing happens. While Derek has continued to amass an army, he's up here in Basilia. He's done a second successful recruit action in a row. Grisberg was just very lucky. He um, tried to diplomatize in order to take both the Kadukian peasants and Hirobi Surma in order to, to gain tragedy for Sweet Pea all in one fell swoop. If you diplomatize, you, you, you diplomatize everyone. Um, so they get to add together. They tied, rolled a one and tied, so it was able to get it. So all of these units are going to join Sweet Pea's side, as well as the city of Tragi. She also just sent Honeypot down to um, Odrixia, which is the other country um, in the Allied Dwarven states. She was she was able to get that as well, uh, which was pretty easy. What that's going to mean is that in future turns, she can just roll to recruit without ha even having anyone there, um, any adventurer that is. So. Um, these dwarven states are just like a 
a unit factory now. Problem is when she tries to do that, there's a chance that they're both going to revolt. So if she rolls three or less, basically if she rolls a one because there's two in there, you you add, um, well, if you roll a two, yeah. Yeah, you add the number of, of towns plus your die roll. And then if that's equal or less than three, then they revolt. And I think it's a, it's a five or a six, you get a new unit. Let's take a look at the. Let's take this moment to look at the map and just kind of see what how things are going and and maybe think a bit about why that is. So we see this huge swath of fuchsia here. Uh, Sweet pea is really uh, owning the game in terms of forces and real estate. I mean, if you look, she has four cities now. Not that those really do a ton, but they you know they they can do quite a they they can help meet goals they can they can do some stuff but just having a lot of cities doesn't mean she's going to win but she's got the most most units going she has everything um and i think part of that is because she hasn't really been opposed at all snugbug's been down here with his dog um just kind of staying out of everything and then um uh, i want to say roadrunner but his name's not roadrunner god what is his name Chopper. Yeah, I always want to call him Roadrunner. Um, Chopper has been over here in the west dealing with the Dragon Queen, and now he's just starting to work things up a bit. He's not been having a ton of luck in terms of recruitment, though. Um, he has, he does the Ghost and the Dragon wear. So that's kind of how things are looking. Snugbug is really just clustered down there and doesn't have really anything. Doesn't seem like maybe that's his goal, though. Uh, it might be might be behoove us to take a moment with the, the quick reference card and see if we can figure out what possible goals he could be going for um, based on his actions. All right, so looking at this, there's actually several people he could be that would, would cause him to act this way. So first one that jumps out at me is Sim of the Prophet. Sim of the Prophet just has to have a dwarf or a hobbit in, in the army. He hasn't been doing a lot of recruiting, though. Uh, then he has to try out three adventures. Hasn't been doing a lot of that. Um, he has been doing this last one though, going after mines, and he the, the town he did control was small. Uh, he's not looking for items though, so I don't think he's probably Sim of the Prophet. Leader of Largos. Now this one, uh, control Largos is one of the goals. He obviously hasn't been doing that, although Sweet Pea does control Largos right now. Oh wow, so next turn she's going to be able to, she could recruit from two different places if she wants, two different countries. Um, but own two two or more pieces of the staff of War Mandalus. He has been looking for items, so that that would make sense with that. And then can't have his identity revealed and must control a green ore mine. So he's been looking at mines. We saw that, and he's been looking for items. So he could be the leader of Largos. Um, own a piece of some magical item. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Control some things. No. Control some things. No. Own the staff, control some things, no. Leader of Largos looks good. Control. Ah, uh, here, Princess Elisa of Zirconia. Gather 10 points worth of magical items. Could be doing that. And then control a green ore mine and a piece of a staff. So that it could also be Princess Elisa. So we're looking at two right now. Leader of Largos and Princess Elisa, who is an elf. Um, Emperor Votier. This one it could actually be as well. Um, now this one, the Emperor Voltaire has four different goals. Control Gory, and he is in Gory right now, but he's not really trying to control. But control two iron mines, that seems easier than controlling all of Gory, and curing the plague. So you can do that with by finding the right magical item. So yeah, Emperor Voltaire, and then, not that one, that one's all controlling. And then High Priest of Vidal Sis, um, control Vidal Sis. Not doing that. Two pieces of the staff, and then to control three mines. Okay, so he's either he's got to either be the leader of Largos, um, the Princess Elisa of Zirconia, the Emperor Voter of Gori, or the High Priest of Vidal Sis. All right, that's who we're looking at for Snugbug. And Chopper, uh, via the Ghost of Torvard, was able to get Prince or Baron Gunter of Argo to join his team. That's going to give him another action, which is great. And the Baron Gunter comes with a special magical item, so he has that as well. And Sweet Pea tried to um, recruit only in the Allied Dwarven States. She left Largos alone, which is maybe a little fishy. Um, she was unable to do it, though. Turns out, she, so she's, she needs to roll a six uh, in order to get anything from the, 
the dwarven states, and a one will make it so she loses the whole thing. And the heavy wind that is sweet, sweet pea has moved westward. Uh, she, the madman finally left at Doria, which was the dwarven capital she began with, and um, just took a, a mine there. So we can we can surmise that she's probably looking for mines. She, that's the second mine she's gone for. Um, she also controls Largos, uh, the dwarven states, and then she's moved west. Uh, she moved both Honeypot and Gersberg, um kind of uh, south southwest over here, heading right for the Ghost of Torvard, actually. So that that could be interesting. This might be the first interplayer conflict, which might make sense because she just took one of um, one of uh, Chopper's mines here. I don't think he's going to be too happy about that. Quick little note about this game: it doesn't the pieces do not stack well. Um, so we have this little mine that's supposed to be right there. And then this piece, which is supposed to show that she controls it. And then this piece, which shows that she's there. But none of them really are meant to... I mean, these stack on each other fine. But the mine piece doesn't stack well with the other pieces. And Snugbug moving back towards Bratisar, which is the town he, he left. Um, the dog's just been hanging out there with the item. Um, he came upon really nice lodging, which is good. And I think that's where we maybe should leave things. Um, snug bug, snug in a bed. Um, this conflict happening here. Something going on between the ghost of Torvard and Derek the Dragon Warrior and Sweet Pea controlling the world.